1170. The answer, KCBQ. Back and welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. Joined as always by Mr. Jason Hall with Team Home Loans, Lawrence Mudgett, Safer Law. And before the break, we're going to get to the, the special guy in the pink over here in a minute. But before the break, we were talking about some of the scams that are out there. You know, Lawrence was bringing a case to us about someone who got taken advantage of while they were going through a foreclosure. The other ones, you know, those of you guys that are out there that own a home that want to sell but think you need to put a bunch of money into it before you sell, um, or those of you guys that are just looking to make some energy efficient upgrades to your home with the Hero program. If you're in any of these situations, our goal on Whistle Wednesdays is to be a resource to you and help you cut through some of the BS that's out there. Um, so if you have a home that you're thinking about putting on the market, you want to make some upgrades to it, you're going through foreclosure, any of those situations, Call or text us here, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. We really, really, really want to be a resource to you to help you get through these situations and do what's best for you and what's best for your family at the end of the day. We don't want you to be taken advantage of. We want you to come in here in studio. We'd love to have somebody come in studio and talk about how we actually helped them save a ton of time and Absolutely. money instead of, you know, spending money on all this crap, how we actually saved them. You know, I'd love to put some stories like that on the air. Um, that would just be fantastic. But speaking of, you know, doing things and being a resource, I was got, wondering how you're going to tie that in. How do we speaking of scams? Yeah. Wait a second, what? Speaking of scams, we're transitioning into resources. Right? Yes. This is what I do for a living, Brian. Is. You know I know how to transition, <laughs> I baby. I was wondering Come on. how that was going to turn out. That makes more sense, though. Yes, <laughs> I got of you. resources. So speaking of being a resource to you know those of you guys that are listening to this show and really to the community, you know Brian, Jason, Lawrence, all of us live in East County yep. here in San Diego. And um, Brian joined our team. Brian Coach, he's the media manager at Whistle Realty. I uh, joined our team about two and a half years ago now, yep. right? And collectively between Brian and I, we've had a lot of amazing things happen, but we've really come up with something that we're super passionate about that's been a huge resource to the community of East County called East County Eats. So I wanted to have Brian in studio today to talk a little bit about what East County Eats is and some of the things we're doing within the East County communities. So East County Eats is a spinoff of our previous series, Santee Saturdays, which we featured very similarly, but we featured Santee Businesses. Uh, we did 100 episodes, one a week um, for 100 weeks. We got just over a million views uh, cumulatively on Facebook and YouTube for that entire series. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so really excited how that turned out. We found out that a lot of people really, surprise, surprise, really like food. That was the thing that They like found. to eat out, but they've never been there, right? Correct. And there's a lot of really cool places in East County. People always think, oh, you know, downtown is the where to go. And yeah, downtown's got great food. And I know Kyle loves to eat out, so I'm just going to guess. Did he come out with East County Eats or was it you, Bray? He did. He did. But, All I, right. but I was down for it, obviously, because the nice thing is we go, we make them make us food so we can show off their food, and then we have to eat the food. And we've every place we've been to has been really good. And how many places have you guys already done? I think we're on episode 15 this week. We have a couple in the bank. And, and how many views do you guys already have? I mean, it's been huge. So I haven't added that up yet, but our mo so we do, probably two weeks ago, our biggest hit was Sarita's. Maybe three weeks ago, it was Sarita's 110,000 views. Sarita's Mexican food down in Spring da Valley. Yes. Down Some in Casadero, of the man, right next to my burritos yeah. you will find in San Diego. My neck Diego. of the woods. Um, then we did- So funky over 100,000 views on one- Yes. Just one place. Then we did wow. Funky Fries and Burgers in El Cajon. Had over 100,000 views on that video. And then we did a little kind of... If you've seen, if you've ever seen food videos on Facebook, there's uh, Thrillist, there's... Tasty. Tasty, there, which I think is BuzzFeeds, right? Yeah. Um, so there's several of them that, you know, they shows the food and different angles and all that sort of stuff. So we've been doing those every once in a while. We uh, looked at formats that worked the best, kind of fixed our format to really fit that. And we had our most viral video to date. It was Funky Fries and Burger there. Buffalo Mac and Cheese. Tater Tots. Tater Tots. Buffalo Mac and Cheese Tater Tots. Lawrence, yes. does that sound good? Sounds wonderful. That's it was really, good. really, really hey, that, That's why I go to team I, training. Know, I am hungry right now. I go to team training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I can have 
bacon mac and or no buffalo mac and so you can run east county eats yeah man and so that video just surpassed 2.1 million views yesterday wow so in about a week what you guys went from 100,000 on one 2.1 million so so we're talking like you guys have probably had 3 million views in 15 weeks probably roughly you're getting close to that Probably pretty close, right? Yeah. Just one episode's two point one. You got fifteen yeah, they episodes. A- the episodes average about forty, forty five thousand views an episode. Normal. And yep. now we've jumped to a hundred on a couple, and now this one is two point one million. Yep. So we're wow. we're probably close to three. Um, and and the cool thing about that, my my absolute favorite thing about that is that was all organic viewing. We didn't pay at all for the two point one million dollar or two point one. You're not paying somebody in India or no? We're not else paying for it. We didn't even. We didn't even do targeted marketing. It's all about building that audience. So now the more and more places we go, the more uh, businesses we visit. And you're promoting those businesses, right? I mean, that's the the whole reason you guys are doing this is to promote East County, the food choices that we have in East County, and to get in some of these mom pops, like Sarita's that's been around for years, getting a more recognition to people that maybe are driving through East County, don't live there, or maybe they just move there. And now they have an opportunity to see what the food choices are. That East County has to offer. Exactly. That's, that's amazing. I mean, as a as a business owner myself, I enjoyed doing the first video you guys did with Santee Saturdays. Yep. But if I was a owner in East County of any food place, I'd be reaching out to Kyle and Brian. That's amazing. Definitely. Yeah. If you're listening to the show and you do own a restaurant in East County, or if you know somebody who owns a restaurant you think people would love to learn about, call or text us 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. We are looking for more restaurants to feature. And although Brian and I think we've got some pretty good culinary taste and know everything in East County, we really want to hit all the spots people have never heard of. I mean, we did Brody's Burgers down in Hamul. I'd never heard of it, never been there, probably driven by it 20 times but never even knew it existed and it's been cool to learn about some of these spots around east county and i mean the the people over there at the atmosphere at brody's was just awesome yep. like that's one of those bars where they really what was that show cheers jason yeah, you cheers. Uh-huh. probably know this <laughs> before I our time i, I yeah. heard about yeah. the show called yeah. cheers where, it's where everybody knows your name right everybody like knows that's the name. kind of place you walk in there and they're like hey kyle hey brian like it's cool you know so we're exposing a lot of these places and what we've learned if you don't know this i've actually been studying the restaurant industry a lot because doing this show makes me want to start a restaurant most of these restaurants are running if they're lucky at about a five percent profit margin yeah, it's so think about when business, you go in there and you've got a restaurant a two hundred dollar bill at a restaurant if they make 10 bucks they profit happy. they're lucky yeah. That's insane. so a lot of these restaurants don't make a ton of money and as a result they can't afford to do these videos Marketing that we do you know you guys are doing so being that we're a small mom and pop company ourselves, we have you know, the means we're very fortunate that we have the ability to produce amazing videos like this. And it's a good way for us to give back to the mom and pop businesses around East County and get them that exposure that they can't afford to necessarily get themselves. It just doesn't fit their budget. Yeah, so stay local San Diego. I wish everybody would do that. Yeah. So it's, it's been really cool. If you guys want to check out the show, you can go on YouTube or Facebook, East County Eats. Just check out the page there, facebook.com slash East County Eats. Um, it's really, really been a fun adventure getting to expose these places, trying tons of good food. Um, I'm learning about foods I've never tried in my life before. And, and there's foods I thought I hated. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I actually kind of like that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm, so I'm getting out of my comfort cool. zone. Yeah, there, unfortunately, yeah, like you actually not every tried, single one is ice cream. Like, so. not just vanilla ice cream. You try like chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Like, you really it's, have expanded your horizons. Good. Did you know this? <laughs> yeah, Brian. If you don't know this, Brian loves ice cream seven days cream. a week. That's my. All right, yes. where are you guys going today? Where's where are you going? We are doing Frutiza in Santee. Um, so we're gonna be filming out there right. this afternoon, and it's gonna air probably two or three weeks from now. Yep. Nice. But anyways, yeah. If you want to check it out, Facebook.com/slash East County Eats. It's also uh, YouTube youtube.com slash east county eats just check it out we'd love for you to uh check out the show and if you have any questions for us regarding east county eats any um questions for lawrence with safer law jason team home loans or myself at whistle realty give us a call shoot us a text 619-663-SELL 619-663-7355 thanks so much for tuning in we'll talk to you next wednesday